real quick before I forget. It's very important that you do this if you're gonna try this method in a very well ventilated area. Make sure that there is no type of ignition or fire source anywhere near. You have seen that video of the guy trying to do over his stove. You know what happens. Let's go. For this, you will require paper towels, acetone, an empty paint can with a lead. And last but not least, a pot for boiling water. So I've gathered my supplies and I have prepared my part, I put it in a little stick. Um, as this stick has a little uh, epoxy on it, so it has, allows me to hold it down so it doesn't fall off. Now, before we start, safety first. Make sure that you're in a very well ventilated area and that there is no source of fire or ignition close to this, because these are very volatile uh, fumes that come out of these. Okay, I'm gonna show you how this whole theory works. See, the can is empty, I'm gonna add a little acetone on it. And because the water is warm and acetone boils at a cooler temperature, you can see the acetone is boiling immediately. So that's, this is why we actually line it up at the bottom with paper towels, so as the, paper, as the um, acetone not to jump and actually um, hit the print as it's boiling. All right, I'm gonna add a little more acetone and I'm gonna put the bucket in the water. You can hear it boiling. I'm going to grab my part, and you're gonna do this only seven seconds or eight seconds at a time. Okay. Start smoothing it. You wanna put it in there, you don't wanna to touch anything in there. Sorry about the camera, I'm going out of focus. You wanna take it out. And you can do this as many times as you want to. However, you do want to make sure not to leave it in there too long because it will begin to melt. Small intervals of time. You'll feel the heat in your fingers if your stick is too close. Don't touch anything. Don't touch the sides or the bottom because it'll stick to it. 